ki khubor ka baate si TV. Lawan Rashapi da ka Frank Motors. Visit Frank Motors or call seven zero four five two zero seven nine seven three. MIT University of Meghalaya. Our admissions are now open for the academic year 2024-25. Explore our best courses. Experience global collaborations. Apply today. Kasor Kar Jilla ka bula shim kia yek jing thormur ha ka bide ba ke jing pinlong yek common university entrance test ara char phusao ka bula pinlong ha school ba nor eastern hills university ha ka santrik u jumang ara char phusao ka rai ban pha re jing tho she ka sarkar india ban plat yek mighalia ka jing pinlong yek ni examine ka bula pinking january ki samla pule kanor ka sin bending kong e ha ka jing im jagi samla pule ka ni ka jilla mighalia bi khon yek examine final ha ka class 12 kin ha ban tho yek examine common university entrance test Lapin Long Rak National Testing Agency tak jinga tre lang ba sarkar jilla Hademik Lami ki jing kadrum kadram ka sarkar kala khot hajir ki officer jaga National Testing Agency ba ka North Eastern Hills University bani theria taisani ha ka jinga lang ba khot pin long du mintri rang ba ka jilla ko ra kon kal changma ha ka nrutru u jumang ara jar phusao This evening uh, under the leadership of Honorable Chief Minister uh Chief Secretary and we have reviewed the entire uh, a scenario of the education department about in process structure academic and on the certain like for example the completion of some buildings and the schools and we have taken a review we had a special meeting on this we have called the nta coordinator the nehu officers who were at the nodal nodal department to Uh, in in conducting of the CUT examination in Meghalaya, and like we have discussed, of course the issue has been taken very seriously. Our chief minister has taken note very seriously, and have decided to take off the matter with the uh, NTA with the government of India uh, at the interest of our. students there are many students who could not uh, there are some few students who could not uh, appear in the exam as well and there are many rural uh, i mean i mean students who have not registered for the cet exam and our our noble chipness will be taking up the matter with the nta and the hunter government and we will be writing for to for those uh, students uh, appearing in the cet examination to take admission in the nehu itself and also to give second chance and also those students who are uh, appearing to take admission in the colleges ability to nehu to be to given exemption this year again but this these things will be taken up with the nta and the and the government of india this this cet exam is, is nothing to do with the state government it's completely uh, conducted by the nta because it was uh, lack of preparedness uh lack of coordination the nta did not communicate to the state government department including the deputy commissioner for the law and order enforcement lack of coordination happened therefore many students have landed in the queues therefore for the interest of the students the state will be taking up the matter with the nta and also just to inform that like uh, maybe the cut is always the issue and therefore we are coming up with the us and the state university so will be the many of the colleges appellate to nehu now can be given a green signal to appellate with us new state captain williamson state university any institutions whoever engaged who have been particular engaged to any assignment any responsibility they should be prepared well they should be a structure where they should know the colors and the condition and dynamics of the state and the condition of the any state of any people so i think this is something it's not like with this kind of uh, it's kind of system should not disturb the minds of the students which is not correct therefore like this 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 thing this interest germanism just to bring up the standard of the uh, students of uh, education rather it is not happening the objective of the cut is the same but for central university for nehu if because nehu has met compulsory 
pray because this is a central university for the UZ as well as for the postgraduate those who want to take admission. Nehu itself, they have to undergo this CUT intensive examination. But those affiliated colleges, right? They just two hundred kilometers away coming to appear for the entrance examination in Nehu is not an easy task for the students. However, it met it. So therefore, and there are many students also who who did not register for the CUT examination. I think look, this is the NT is just a transition stage now, right? They are not, there was another well structured, well designed, well prepared. Look at the eleven of what. They have informed the new authority that they should be prepared for two, four thousand students. It's a, it's beyond the capacity. It's beyond the limit. So how, how they can prepare for how four thousand students in a in a few hours at the middle of the night? And also, when they formed the biometric mission, they have just been when they just given only seven numbers, which they require about forty to fifty numbers. So at the end of the day, uh, NT has given the signal that to go ahead with the without biometric. Uh, Reviewed today, there are many uh, models, model, model residential school, and the model school, Pekalabia schools that completed, some are uncompleted. And like uh, we have about 21, about 20 plus called uh, residential schools, <coughs> which are already completed. So, how to how it's going to be the management of all this, we have discussed. EOI. For all the schools that if because it's not the central government it's not the state government that will run the school but it's we are going to upload the EOI if any any group any trusted uh, group to run the school so I think that ways can be opened up to run which school no for residential yeah residential the buildings that because the asset has been created already as an asset has been created already and some the building has been completed so. Now we will be plotting the EOI so that if any trusted uh, groups will come forward to run this school, maybe some mission yeah. school, the churches, the NGOs, it may not be practically residential because uh, the, the things is not completely ready to be residential. But however, this asset is created, we can we can start using it. I mean, they have to they have to decide. No? We are our our next chief minister is also taking up we are writing again after the getting a letter from the. Center in church. No, we are waiting, and our our hundred chief minister will be taking up the matter. And personally, again, I've been informed that we will be we have taken out about this seriously, and we'll be taking up the matter. We will be taking up the matter with the NTA, with the, the with the, uh, with the ministry of education. So what it is legitimate or hard copy, but uh, this should not be happened. And I I'm. I, we are this this our concern and this has been happened and should not repeat in the days to come. It is completely conducted by the NTA. It's not communicated well to the state government, to the department. And imagine it's not informed to DC also. DC also. <laughs> DC also not aware. Because for the law and order issue, this is not uh, I'm deployment also, right? So I think NDA NTA should have Design better, prepare. Uh, one uh, one teacher from some school, some public city, to be as a coordinator. It is not their staff. They have engaged teachers from the city to be uh, to to be the coordinator. And they have also given in the last last eleven minutes, eleven hours. So it must, as a human being, it's beyond the limit that to to do all this. Uh, no, our because because many of this. Because of this scenario, many of the students could not, definitely, might not have able to do well. Therefore, we will be requesting to give exemption again. If, because, and well, now we don't know the figure, how much it is. How many students could not be appealed, how many students have been affected with this practically. So, we are waiting for the figures and data. And also, like, Particularly for the Nehu, for those students who want to take admission in Nehu also, they have been affected directly, right? It is like this Nehu has informed us that it was the last 11 hour that the Nehu, I mean the NT has informed the Nehu authority. It was the 14th at 6 p.m. Because earlier they have been informed that they, they should be ready for 2,000 number of students. But on 
at the middle of the night, NT has informed them to be ready for four out of the four thousand students. So they don't have time to coordinate. I mean, they don't have time to prepare it because of this limitation, because of lack of coordination from the NT. So this has thing happened. But to me, it is very unfortunate, and we would like to, like, uh, we have taken very serious note of this, and we'll be taking up the matter with the NT, and we'd like to uh, call NT should be well prepared. We are not aware. We are not aware that we have not been informed properly by the NT. Right, for all this, so we could have been informed our institutions, has it been done so, but that didn't happen also. For all this reason, to this meeting, we have taken off, we have taken note of this issue seriously, and our Honorable Chief Minister, and we as a department will be taking up the matter with the so that these things will not repeat and should not repeat in the future. No, it is like this now, NTA should decide now. This has problem happened. So many of these uh, students could not perform well, could not give their best, they, they will not be able to uh, score well. And also, there are many students in the rural which they have not registered for COD examination. So, if we, if the state, uh, if the institutions goes admission only with the CUT, CUT or to call those, I mean, CUT entrance examination, so many of the backends will be unfair in the different institutes of the state. Therefore, and I think in the whole scenario, I think NT was not, had not been prepared well, or not well structured, not well coordinated. Therefore, I think we will also uh, request the NT to uh, step in the way forward. It will be for maybe for exemption or for for Nehure. Okay, for others, for example, at the colleges, like in the government colleges, then uh, like any the many colleges in the state, uh, they are not going to take admission in Nehu, but they will be taking their own respective colleges in the respective district, but they have to appear for the CUT. So, but for the students, those who are practically going to take admission in Nehu, they have also hugely affected. Therefore, those uh, students, they could not appear in a CUT, maybe for this reason also. I think they should be given a second chance. We will be writing to the MTA to decide on this. Uh, Nehu officials and NTA officials just informed me that only one lady, one girl, could not uh, appear the CUT exam yesterday. And the rest, they could have uh, appear. However, there was some delay. And because the, there's some technical uh, happens, that, I mean, technical issue happened because of biometric. Uh, because the, the capacity of each biometric was about for just for 100, 100 children, 100 I mean, uh, students. They have been informed that there are only 7 biometric machines. It's supposed to be about 40 to 50 numbers since uh, because of at, the, at the end of the hour. So after the green signal from the NTA, they just went ahead without the biometric. Therefore, they could held the exam. Nehu also and uh, uh, all this, they have also... I mean, communicated the same to the NT also, and they have also written the points to consider at the entries of our um, students of the state. And but uh, to me, I think we shouldn't worry much, and we're taking the things very, very seriously. Mm -hmm. But however, for all this reason happened, although there was a mess happened, right? Not well structured, well designed, or well communicated. So, had NTA designed better, uh, this. All things should, could have been avoided, but since uh, they also admit that the NEHU authorities and the NTA coordinators to admit some lapses here and there, so I think this is something like, look, when we go for examination, mentally, physically should be prepared well. So if I'm hungry, I'm not able to write exam well. If I'm, if I'm over it, also not able to write well exam, right? So all this, so when you go for examination, mentally, Physically should be well prepared and no any issue. And, uh, with both not only about the CUT, about the need exam, it's not so that happened in the Zoan last week. So for this reason, right? So uh, this is something like when any agency or any institution are going to take a conduct examination, they should be well prepared, well set up, well managed. So that didn't happen. Therefore, maybe this is because of lack of coordination from the NTA side. The union government, the Ministry of Education last year, for the for the exemption for our students because there is no enough center, but this and we have we have asked them to give, 
this time uh, they they have planned to uh, conduct the main treat reason for the Zainti reason, Shilong reason, the Tura reason. So we're happy that things is good to happen. But the way they have managed is something which is very, very serious concern to us. Thank you.